And then this moment. The closer. You guys got to listen to this. Insanity. These people are lunatics. The most powerful woman on the planet. That's what she wants you to think. Clinton Jaws, I'm sitting in a motorhome wearing a white shirt covered in fruit flies. I'm flipping through the internet. And I come across this, sh- this show that I've never seen before. Power and, I, I don't even, I can't even remember. Pow- Power and Privilege, CBC, I, I don't know, something like that. And I start watching it. <laughs> You're not going to believe what Freeland said today at question period. Anyways, I'm watching this show. And they start talking about Freeland. How Freeland got beat up during question period. Ferociously. That she was a victim. Just what This is what they say about her. Interesting response to Mr. Singh's response. Francoise, I, I wonder what your thoughts are. And also, like on the name calling thing, if you watch question period today, it was endless, directed at the Deputy <sighs> Prime Minister, Christopher Freeland, um, you know, and, and, and with a little bit of shooting back. And I don't know if this is fighting fire with fire or if there's a race to the bottom happening in politics, but just what are your thoughts on it? Uh, definitely, it was uh, absolutely uh, horrible. I mean, I, I felt I felt bad for Christian Freeland. Endless, directed at Freeland. Absolutely horrible. She feels bad for her. And I thought, oh my God, I got to watch Question Period. So I watched it. I watched the entire thing. And I kept on watching. This is how Freeland started out. But the Conservatives don't want to talk about it. They are so weak and spiteful. And I'm like, that's not right. She just called the conservatives weak and spiteful. But this power and privilege just said she's the victim, that conservatives are bad. And then she says it again. But these weak and spiteful conservatives. And I'm like, hmm, I must, be, I must be missing something. So I kept on watching it. Mr. Speaker, unlike the conservatives, we do believe in listening to experts from across yes. the country. But let's talk about where the Conservatives get their ideas. The Conservative leader gets his advice on helping Canadians with their grocery bills from a Loblaws lobbyist. He gets his advice on Ukraine from Elon Musk and from Tucker Carlson. And he has courted the support of misogynists and cozied up to the far right. Those are the advisors Canadians should be really concerned about. I'm looking for this ferocious attack, but all I can see is the liberals attacking and doing a pretty good job of it, by the way. But what the hell is wrong with Elon Musk? (laughs) Why would she bring up? Who wouldn't want to listen to that guy? Tucker Carlson? These These people are big deals. They just are. They're smart people. And I, she says the word misogynistic. CBC. Are you lying to me? Are you fibbing? So I kept on watching. The Honourable Deputy Prime, Prime Minister. I don't think anybody listening to question period today, or frankly any day, imagines that the Liberals are teaming up with the Conservatives. <laughs> and austerity we are the party of people (laughs) they're privileged and they're the party of people oh boy honest to god i looked for it i kept on looking and then i found then i found these two chicks oh my god you want to talk about attacks you got to listen to this it is a bit rich to hear the member of the Conservative Party pretend to care about feminism when their own leader was doing misogynistic hashtags That's on their right. videos to attract yeah. men who hate women. Mr. Know. Speaker, it was anything but feminist when they bring forward backdoor legislation to ban abortion and to take away women's right to choose right. their own rights, Mr. Speaker. Or when they all voted against increased funding to combat gender-based violence or to support survivors. Mr. Speaker, their leader doesn't Who's the bully? Who's the liar? It gets better. 
after all the insults on one side, this liberal lady gets up and says that she has the guts, the balls to actually say that we're not doing anything wrong. Listen to this. The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker, it's absolutely shameful what the Conservatives are doing. When there is a Canadian who doesn't agree with their vision for Canada, what do they do? Attack them. Whether it's anybody who doesn't agree with what the Conservatives do, the only thing they know how to do is denigrate that person. Mr. Speaker, we should be able to disagree without being disagreeable. We should be able to hear advice from a whole wide range of actors without attacking their character and bringing down fellow Canadians. They should be ashamed of their actions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Very good. You can't make it up. <laughs> you can't make it up. Shouldn't you be shameful, you bully? I mean, really, I mean, I don't care what you say. Really, I don't. Bring it on. But aren't you the ones that are attacking? You did nothing but attack today. And then this moment. The closer. You guys got to listen to this. Insanity. These people are lunatics. The most powerful woman on the planet. That's what she wants you to think. No wonder they're putting the training wheels back on for her. She can tell that to the Prime Minister. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, I've stood up to Trump and I have stood up to Putin. Juvenile playground insults from the wannabe mega maple syrup conservatives do not frighten me at all. But what I think is really interesting is that they don't actually want to talk about the economy. And that's because good economic news for Canadians is bad news for them. How pathetic that they put their own partisan interest first. She stood up to Trump. <laughs> when? When did you stand up to Trump? Trump would demolish you. Putin? She said she stood up to Putin? Is that why we're not negotiating with Putin? Like, how did you stand up? You stood up to Putin. When did this happen? That's horrible. That's ridiculous. It's fake. It's phony. Complete lies. Not once has Canada, anyone in Canada, ever stood up to Trump or Putin. But CBC wanted you to think that she was the victim today. That the liberals were the victims. And that's why none of us have cable. And that's why CBC will be defunded. It has to be.